guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here i'm kenny make sure you are subscribed to my channel i really appreciate that thank you in today's video i'll be doing a summer makeup routine for oily skin i have oily combination skin and i know this um, makeup video or this video is a little bit late because we are nearing the end of summer but i still think with these few remaining days in summer these tips can help you these tips or acts can help you when you're doing your makeup your foundation your eye makeup and all those things i during summer you know it's hot it's warm outside and someone like me and I, I love full glam makeup even with the heat i love full glam makeup full coverage foundation my highlighter my contour i love everything i love my eyeshadow to be banging i love my lips to be bold to be glossy or matte or bold anything i just love a full face of makeup even with the heat so these are my tips and art that i incorporate into doing my makeup that ensures that i don't get oily easily and also that my makeup lasts throughout the day i hope these tips help you when you are doing your makeup if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up like i said it goes a long way in helping my videos i'll appreciate that and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll appreciate that as well for this eyeshadow makeup tutorial i reviewed the juvia's place palette which is the palette i use for this eyeshadow tutorial i'll link it up here and make sure you are subscribed to my channel it's maybe the second video after this um, foundation video so that you don't miss it subscribe to my channel and if it's already up i'll link it up here and also in the description box below thank you guys and i'll catch you in my next video bye the first thing i always do when i sit down to do my makeup is my eyebrows and during the warm months during the cold months i can get away with powder or anything like that but during the warm months because it's gonna be hot outside and uh, melting so i always ensure i use a pencil that has very good hold and that wouldn't rub off on my head uh, that wouldn't rub off easily so the eyebrow pencil i use is the real eyebrow pencil in black and brown thing is to set your eyebrow with like an eyebrow gel and the one my favorite from the drugstore is the l'oreal brow artist plumper this thing is like magic it keeps my eyebrows in place without them fading or the products i used to fill them in rubbing off and it always keeps my eyebrows to stay in the way i want them not them going in the opposite direction so i'll be setting my eyebrows with the l'oreal brow artist plumper next thing i do is prime my eyelids this is what to ensure that my eyeshadows last all day long without them fading especially for matte eyeshadows and even um, shimmy eyeshadows i get oily on my lid and if i don't prime my eyelid before applying my eyeshadow the eyeshadow will crease and form like balls where my eyelids will usually fold so i always ensure to prime my eyelids especially during the warm months because i would usually get oily on my lips right here and the eyeshadow will settle in the creases of where i get oily uh, on my eyelids so to prime my eyelids my favorite that i've been using for more than a year now is the i had makeup eye primer from makeup revolution it's the matte one so that is the one i'll be using to prime my eyelids my eyelids i'll set the eye primer i applied i'll set it with a translucent powder which the one i use is the i use either one of these two the dimmel stay matte powder in transparent 001 or i use the w7 banana dreams powder from w7 so so i'm gonna take like this small brush and i'll dip it in the powder and i'll use it to set my eyelid this will also make my eyeshadows blend better set my eyelid i can now go right ahead to apply my eyeshadow which i'll be getting into later so i'm moving now to the face and how i prepare my face for my face makeup during the summer the first thing i always do i've moisturized my face for my face i'll be applying my spf which my favorite is the malibu face cream which has 30 spf which has an spf of 30 i got this from Poundland, and i've already reviewed it on my blog 
I've already reviewed it on my blog, which I will link in the description box below. You want to check a full review of this SPF. And I always add like a couple of drops of um, olive oil. I used to use the vitamin E um, serum in oil from Body Shop. But since I run out of that, I've been using olive oil. And I've already talked about using olive oil as a face moisturizer on my blog as well. I'll link that in the description box below too. So I added a couple of drops of olive oil and my SPF and I'll be applying that on my face. My all over face primer, my favorite product is the, the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. It's a very good matte fine primer and it also has like a smoothing effect sort of on the face. So I love it, the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. My oily area, which is my T zone, which is where I get me more. I've already primed all over my face with a mattifying primer, but that would not work for where I get oily more, which is my nose area and slightly my forehead. Here. So, for that area, I'll be using the Philips Make of Magnesia. I'll be applying that on my nose area and also on my forehead. time to settle in and dry so i'll go right ahead to do my eye makeup then i'll come back to the face for my eye makeup today i'm using the i'm using the juvia's place the nubian two palette by juvia's place so this is what the palette look like and i'll be reviewing it today so okay so for my foundation during the summer or spring summer i love using a mattifying foundation and and the one I've been using this summer is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Polish Foundation in the shade 55 Pecan. I've reviewed this foundation. I'll link it up here and also in the description box below. So, so to apply my foundation during summer, I prefer using brush to using beauty sponge. It's just my preference. My favorite foundation brush is the Real Technique Buffing Brush. Another app or tip for applying my foundation during, especially during summer, is to spray my brush with a setting spray. This is the Makeup Revolution Pro Aqua Priming Water. This is a priming water from Makeup Revolution. It has glycerin in it, which is one of the reasons I bought it. It's supposed to be like a primer, but I use it for to prime my um, the brush I use to apply my foundation and also to, I also spray, I spray it on my flat eyeshadow brush. I got this tip from Jacqueline that like I spray a setting spray that has glycerin in it is to pick up your um, eyeshadow more it to make it more pigmented and also it to make it last longer so i always spray this on my eyeshadow brush and also i spray it on my foundation brush so i'm doing that right now i'll spray my foundation brush and i'm using it to apply my foundation which which is the maybelline fits me mask plus flawless foundation in the shade 355 Baker. Then I'll take the flat side of the foundation of this beauty sponge i use it to blend my foundation in. To conceal my under eyes and also to highlight the center of my face, I'm using the Ellie Girl Concealer in Fawn, which is a very long lasting. It's a long lasting concealer and it gives a matte finish. It doesn't go slippery or go everywhere after it's been set so this is my favorite concealer especially during the summer months to, bl to blend my eye concealer i'm using this beauty sponge which i use the flat side to blend my foundation so i'll be spraying that also with this setting spray which is the makeup revolution aqua priming breeze like i said i'll just spray where i'm using to yes. this sponge is ready down but i still love to Spray it with that setting spray so that it lasts, it makes my concealer last a little bit longer. So, another foundation tip for the summer month is to bake, especially where you would normally get oily. I've set under my eye area and I applied more powder to where I would usually get more oily which is my nose area right here then I'll leave that to bake for about 10 to 15 minutes while I do every other thing and I'll dust that off to set all over my face I use a setting powder which is from black opal the black opal deluxe finishing powder this is what I use all year round it's the oil control formula and the shade I use is dark and I also use it to dust off the excess powder that I have under my eyes.
I like my cheekbones, my temples, and also my nose. I love using not too much highlighter, not too highlighter that has intense glue, not highlighters with glitter or highlighters that highlighters that tend to shift or that will find their way to the center of my face or to my pores and make me more oily. So I love precise highlighting. Applying that highlighter to where I actually want that highlighter to be because at times if you use too much highlighter as if you have oily skin and use too much highlighter, you tend to get oily quickly and also it may even give you that oily look without necessarily being oily. So I'm using the Slick Blush by 3 in Sugar and I'll be using the Muscavado shade which is this one as my highlighter which is my favorite highlighter of all times as you guys know so. So I'm done setting my face, I've done my highlighter, I've done my blush. The next thing is to set my face and my favorite setting spray is also from Makeup Revolution. It's different from the Aqua Primer Base. This is a primer and it also works as a setting spray and this is a setting spray. This is like a drip for the Urban Decay All Nighter um, the Urban Decay All Nighter uh, fixing setting spray or something. I used to use that one and since I've been using this, I think this is my second bottle of this setting spray. I've not bought the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. So to set everything in place so that it lasts a little bit longer and also to take away the powdery look that I may have. I'm using the Makeup Revolution and makes amazing makeup fixing spray. So I'll give this time to set into my face. I hope these tips and acts help you when you are doing your makeup, your eye makeup, your foundation or your face makeup. They can help you so that you don't get oily easily and also so that your makeup stays true to how it is from the beginning of the day when you put on your makeup till the end of the night or anytime you are ready to take off your makeup. I hope these tips can help you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate that. Please, 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 I'll appreciate your thumbs up. It goes a long way in helping my videos. Thank you guys and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.